Hey guys, we're back. Sorry, uh, I I figured out how to enter the BIOS menu again by um, restarting instead of shut downing. And I did find inside the security thing the uh, the secure boot. I wonder what this is. SGX. Who knows what that is? Please let me know in the comments. The security chip stuff looked interesting. But only Microsoft Windows? Hmm. Uh, if anyone knows about that, let me know. And also I noticed this hard drive disk one password. Um, to be honest, I don't think I trust it, so I won't be using it. But I thought it was interesting and I wondered if it was actually any good. Uh, virtualization is for losers. Linux containers for the win. So, okay, I disabled secure, secure boot. So now I should be away and I've got I got arch I've got arch USB stick right there so um hopefully that allows me to boot from the sand disk uh, I pressed F12, F12 there magic um oh dear why doesn't that work? I uh, oh, okay. just let me just try put this on the other side. I uh, config USB enabled enabled. Yo 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 yo. Yo yo. Yo. Where do I configure boot? Startup network boot. UFE, uh, yeah, 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 Plus works. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I have to. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. Come on, boot from the key. Boot from the key. The key is here. Oops. I want to uh, choose temporary disk. Oh, there we go. Hello, Arch Linux. Uh, yeah, that thing. Yeah, whatever. Oh dear, I need to probably make sure I got on the network. Oh no, I don't have a very long cable. I don't have a very long cable. I'm gonna have to stretch it around here. Oh god, here you go, system D for the win. I read somewhere that wireless is probably not gonna work. Oh dear. Font is very small. Font is very small. Uh, do I have internet? Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, I can never remember this thing. Oh no, no. Um, e n blah 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 blah. Okay. Yeah. What? What? Whatever. Ping. Yeah. Okay. I got internet. So let's try install terminus. Make the font bigger. Um, install terminus. Uh, oh god. Terminus font. Sorry, just trying to make it big bigger for you guys. Uh, so I just have to hopefully I'm going to edit this out uh, forum fonts
Okay. Set font. T E O one three two N. Yeah, it's bigger. Okay. Um. Oh cracky. This is where I always struggle. I can never remember how to do things. So, uh, oh wow, that's interesting. I got NVM. So these are these are my SD SSD drive, and this is my um, and this is the USB. So first one is uh, Windows. No, first one is um, what do you call it? The boot partition. The UFE thing, and then the second is the Windows partition, the third one is the free space, and the fourth one is the recovery. So, <clears throat> so uh, let me, um, how does it all work? Okay, uh, let me mount, and can you guys see me? Not very clearly. I'm mounting the first partition on boot. Oh. Oh, maybe I have to mount. I'm doing this kind of from memory, so sorry, guys. Oh, I probably need to create a disk first. No, there is a partition now. I just need to go uh, make a fs xt4. And hopefully I got the right one. Actually, let me, let me just mount. It should just mount. I just want to quickly do a couple of tests. I want to make sure I have the right partitions before I nuke them. Okay, so that one is the boot one. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Let's see if I can adjust the brightness for you guys. Oh, it doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, the next thing is um, dev and uh, the P2. This one should be Windows. No, is it? Um, yeah, whatever. No, this should be NTFS. Uh, right protected. Well, maybe FDIS can tell me what the hell is everything. Uh, NV, uh, uh, yeah, that one. Print, oh no, quit. Um, what is it, NVO? Sorry, I forgot the partition stuff again. Partitions. N oh, it's NVN1. Yeah, so, ooh. oh no. Uh, Hmm. Where's the free data here? Is it the... Rec I guess I need to create a new partition? Yeah, that looks good. Got a new one. And that one's five. So uh, makefs uh, ext4, oh, sorry, uh, dev nvme n1p5. Yeah, this should work. And then I mount it. Sorry, I'm, I hate these horrible generated file names. And then I pack strap it. Yeah, and now I'm going to simultaneously launch a guide how to install ArchNX, because I can't remember. ArchNX install guide. Uh, I always forget how you do this. I'm really sorry if you can't see that clearly. I um, don't know what to say. Put it in 180p. <laughs> um, oh, I should have gone pack trap base or something. Oh, then I have to do the NFS tab.
Um, okay, my internet connection is pretty fast, so this is going quite well. Okay, oh great. Um, okay, so I'm actually not entirely sure what's required, but I'm just gonna arch here through into mount, and then I'm going to, uh, what am I gonna do? I think the Linux thing looks important. I'm gonna make in it, oh no, I think I need to mount boot first, don't I? I don't know what to do. I, I'm gonna mount, I'm gonna mount dev, NV blah, 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 blah. NV z what is it? P stop that's the worst this thing's not very helpful. P one mount boot. Is that gonna work? This is gonna work. Oh yeah, that looks good. And then I go arch root mount and then I go um Boot CTL update or something. Okay, I'm going to generate Linux. Oh, crikey. Make init p Linux. I. O. I. I, I don't know what to do. I'm going to Google the message. Specified kernel does not exist. Yeah, that's why I want you to create it. Um, yeah. Um, hmm. Oh, I think I need to go install, don't I? Install? Yeah, all right, cool, cool, cool. And then I do, uh, and then I do the make in APO. Oh, shit. So in this now, I should have, oh, oh yeah, Lin Linuxy type stuff. Um, yeah, but don't I need my Linux partition in it? My, huh? I don't. My, uh, install, please. Yeah, yeah. I think I managed to get it to install. Yeah, that, look, that, that looks good. Um, now uh, I need an entry, entries, entry port. Um, arch.conf. Yeesh. arch.conf um, and this one I'm just reading off the wiki to figure this out I actually don't know what I'm arch linux oh I like this keyboard feels good so far in it um, ram fs Oh, I didn't do the whole uh, FS tab balls. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how you get this option stuff. Uh -huh. um, LS block, maybe? I should call it something. How do I name something again? 
I can never remember how you do this. Um, how to name device. Arch Linux. How to name disk. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, ET, okay, ET label, dev, and the VME, N1, N1P5, I'm going to call you something really interesting like root. Uh, I'm not too sure why root doesn't show up there. I think I did it right. Okay. I'm, I'm going to assume I did it right. Um, entries. Uh, options. Why is it so painful? I, oh, what is it called? Is it root equals label equals root? Oop, I think I should have been uppercase, right? Uh, hopefully that worked. I, um, yeah, I, I've done it. I've done it. I've installed Arch Linux. Wait, no, I. I think I'm, I need to do the Gen F tab one. Gen F S tab. Uh huh. Minus P mount. Yeah. Is that gonna work? And then I go uh -uh, mount etc F S tab. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. Hopefully that was enough. Ooh. Mount, boot, boot, and then unmount that. Okay, well, hopefully that was enough. Gosh, I hope it was. I don't really know. So that is Arch installed with boot CTL. Um, let's, let's hope that worked. I'm not sure. Uh, Oops, VM Linus. <laughs> yeah, I, I made it. I made a typo. Sorry. No, don't go into Windows. Don't go into Windows. Respect my authority. Oh. oh no. Okay, I made a typo. I should have looked a little bit closer. Um I did maybe I told you how I managed to you have to click don't click shut down. Cause shut down doesn't mean shut down. It means hibernate. <laughs> Almost got Arch going. Vigorously tapping F12. And then I'm choosing the SanDisk. Yeah, so don't panic if you make, make a mess up. You can always fix it. That's my... Oh, the good news is that Windows seemed to work there, right? Um, didn't... Didn't no, nuke Windows. That's a miracle. Usually I just nuke Windows just because I'm just too lazy to figure out dual booting. But now I know better. Okay, ooh, ooh. So, um, LS block did it? Oh, yeah, it is mount. It is called um, root. Oh, crappy. Um, let me try and get that font bigger for you guys again. Sorry. Uh, terminus font. Come on. Install a better font like Terminus. I use Terminus everywhere. It's um, 
If you know a better font than Terminus, let me know. I think it looks awesome. I really, I complained um, on the forums saying that I think the font should be bigger, but you know how it is. Ooh, said font. Now it's bigger. Um, what am I doing? I am fixing my um, my typo, my embarrassing typo. Let's put that on mount. Let's put that on boot. Let's go into boot. So what is it called? VM Linux, and I called it something else ridiculously. Um, loader entries arch. Is it VM? I never understood the whole logic of these. Um, VM Linux, VM Linux Linux. I guess it just means compressed init RAM FS Linux to image. That looks good. That should work. Unmount the thing I was working on, which was boot. And that, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Uh, USB key is a bit tight. Bing, Bengali, I'm in. You know what? I don't think I tapped a, I don't think I tapped a password. Oh, thank God. Okay, that's how to install install Arch on a T460s. I hope you enjoyed that, and um, let me know if you liked it with a big thumbs up. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye.